Hi, Free K family. Welcome to Herd's Home Room for the week of April 19th, 2021. I am Heather Hurd, a Transition Services Advisor for the Division of Early Childhood, and I would like to welcome you to Herd's Home Room. It's your first time. Welcome. If it's not, welcome back. We are going to go ahead and get started. As always, I like to thank my director, executive director, Diamond Gordon, my education director, Catherine Bosick, and my transition services manager, Christina Jones. I always like to say thank you to these ladies for allowing her home room to take place. With that being said, we are going to get started now. I don't have any Dollar Tree fines for you this week. I am so, so sorry, but I will have something for you on next week. I know how you look forward to the Dollar Tree fines. I don't have anything this week, but next week I'll have something for you. So with that being said, let me go ahead and share my screen so we can go ahead and get started. All right, as usual, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I have breaking news, breaking news. So you know, we were originally supposed to have our drive-in movie in the park on March 27th. Well, you know, the weather, it would not allow us to be great. So we had to reschedule. Well. Our new drive-in movie in the park is Friday, April 30th. And guess what, guys? I have secured some extra tickets. So if you would like to participate in our drive-in movie on April 30th at Shelby Farms, the link is on the screen. And I have also included it in the Herd's Homeroom email. I have about. 20 spots left over. Now, once they have been filled, I'll have to remove the link. So my advice to you is to click on that link as soon as possible so that you can secure your spot. Now, if you've already signed up, we have you reserved and there is nothing else for you to do. This is for new people that want to come and be a part of our drive-in movie on April 30th at Shelby Farms. Now the movie is Trolls World Tour, which is actually a super cute, cute movie. And I'm sure you and your family will enjoy it. Now we are going to provide you with dinner. So that is another bonus. So you can come on out, you can have dinner with us and watch the movie. So click on the link as soon as possible. If you would like one of the spots that I have, because as soon as I fill all my spots, I will take the link down and it will not be available. Movie starts at 7.15, our gates open at 5. So hopefully you'll be able to join us. Here are our conversation starters for the week. Remember our conversation starters, we are having back and forth conversations because we know that this increases our child's vocabulary and it builds their listening skills. We have to be intentional and specific, okay? So we talked about moving away from those one word questions with the simple yes and no answers. And on the screen, you'll see our three conversation starters for the week. Take a picture and indulge in some good conversations with your child. Now, you don't have to use these. These are just a suggestion. You can do anything. All we want you to do is just to talk and have those in-depth conversations with your children. Here are the skills for the week. These are some of the things that your child may work on this week in their classrooms. So just take a look at what is going on this week in the classroom. On April 12th, we began our online registration for the 2021-2022 school year. The link for registration is on the screen. Also, I do want to let you know that 
even though your child is a current SES pre-K student who will be entering kindergarten, they are still considered a new student. So you will have to follow the directions and the steps for new student registration. Even though they have that power school number, they are still considered a new student. So you will still have to follow the steps for new student registration. Now, all of that information can be found on the SES website. So you can go to www.sesk12.org slash registration slash. And that is not only for kindergarten, but it's kindergarten through 12th grade. Now, also on March 8th, our pre-K registration kicked off. So if you have another child that is coming into the pre-K program or you know someone that would like to come into our pre-K program, please share this information with them. The www.scsk12.org slash pre-K slash website so that they can go and um, apply for our pre-K program and then it just also gives them basic information. On April 27th, we're going to have another parent cafe and this parent session will be on social emotional learning. Social emotional learning is an integral part of education and human development. Social emotional learning is the process through which all young people and adults acquire and apply the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to develop healthy identities, manage emotions, and achieve personal and collective goals. Also, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain supportive relationships, and make responsible and caring decisions. So this parent session will be held twice on April 27th. Our first session will be at 10 and the second session will be at 5. The sessions are the same, so you only have to attend once. And an email with the links are included in this Herds Homeroom link. I'll also send them out again on April 26th, just so that you can have them. And they're only 30 minutes, so please enjoy, join us for this informative session. It's on the road to kindergarten. In just a few short months, your child will transition into kindergarten and this transition team, who happens to be the best anywhere, will be there to help you anywhere and everywhere, let me say. We started our sessions last month and they have been very successful. So this month we have one more session. So our next session will be held on April 22nd at 5 p.m. The sessions are only 30 minutes and we give you an overview of what to expect in kindergarten. So we look at skills, we learn about the immunizations needed and everything in between. You only have to attend a session once. So if you've already attended, if you attended last month, if you attended last week or today, you do not have to attend again. And then we also send you a little special gift that you are going to enjoy just for attending and giving us your time. Now, um, a link for the on the road kindergarten for next week. I'll send that out again, but it's also in our um, homeroom email link. OK. All right. Mark your calendars. Yes, we have our final event for this school year on May 15th. We will have our pre-K celebration and kindergarten registration. You will have the opportunity to come out and register for kindergarten. Receive a pre-K, the kindergarten transition kit, and receive some pre-K swag gifts. And you know we give some pretty cool pre-K swag gifts. And did I mention we're going to feed you? So we're going to provide you with some good food. Now the registration link is included in the Herds Homeroom email. Now, because of COVID and social distancing, we will have limited spaces. So be sure to sign up as soon as I share the link. Now, I don't want you to miss this event. So check this out. If you want to register online before the event, like with the regular um, kindergarten registration, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and do the registration online. So all you have to do is just come out to the park, pick up your goodie bag and just enjoy the day, enjoy the celebration because we are going to celebrate your child. But, you know, there are some people that need to register or might need some help with registration. So we're going to have the seed department there and they're going to assist you guys with registering for kindergarten. 
Okay, so this is another, another great opportunity. It is our pre-K celebration and kindergarten registration, and we want you to be there. All right, the link is in the email. Please sign up for it as soon as you can because we don't want you to miss it. All right, I'm going to do something a little different today. So today, we're going to talk about cooking with your child. Now, how many of you guys cook or you follow recipes or you're on the shows that, you know, you have all these gourmet meals? I'm sure it is a lot of you out there. Well, it would be so much fun to cook with your child. So when you select a recipe to prepare with your child, look for the one that will involve a lot of measuring, mixing, pouring, and stirring. When you are finished cooking, let your child help you with the cleanup process. Your child can help you wash the dishes, clear the table, or sweep the floor. You are guaranteed to have an educational, fun cooking experience. So, cooking can also help young kids learn and practice some basic math concepts and build language skills. And the experience of creating meals with you can help build their self-confidence and lay the foundation for healthy eating. Now, on this slide, you will see some recipes for food and non-edible items. One day this week, carve out some time with your child. Get in the kitchen and make something. So I have on the screen a recipe, recipes for alphabet pretzels, edible finger paint, and bubbles. So this is all something that you can do with your child. It involves mixing, measuring. So we've got some math. We've got some, some literacy. We've got some conversations going on. So take a screenshot of the uh, these recipes and get in the kitchen and have some fun with your children. So you don't have to go to the Dollar Tree to make bubbles. You can make them yourself. You can make the edible finger paint and even an edible meaning not that I want you to eat it but if they taste it it's okay because it's egg yolk water and food coloring and then they can paint that masterpiece and then also the alphabet pretzels where you make them and then they can make their upper and lowercase letters so this is just some fun something fun that they can do in the kitchen with you this is our book of the week title of it is Kindergarten Here I Come by DJ Steinberg. Now the YouTube link is on the screen and the link with the read aloud is also in the email that was sent to you. And this is a wonderful book. And as I said last week, I'm going to begin sharing books with you um, about getting ready for kindergarten. So little fun books that you can read with your child to let them know what's going to happen with kindergarten because we want them ready. We don't want them scared. We don't want them to think, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going to happen. So look, read a book. That's all you have to do. So each week, for the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you some kindergarten books um, about helping your child get ready for kindergarten. It's time for Hearts Trivia. On the screen, what are some things you can do to get your child up and moving? So we're going to focus on gross motor skills. What are some things you can do to get your child up and moving? All right, you have until Wednesday, April 21st to email your answers to pre-K transition at scsk12.org. Again, submit your answers to pre-K transition at scsk12.org. So the first 25 people that submit their answers will receive, I'm going to show it to you as soon as I finish with this presentation. I'll show you what you're going to get this week. All right. So remember, you have until Wednesday, April 21st to submit your answers. What are some things that you can do to get your child up and moving? We have talked about gross motor skills. We have talked about things that you can do. We have even done a session on gross motor skills. I did that session. So those of you who attended my session, I know I, you can spit out a whole bunch of things that you can do for gross motors to get your, your children up and moving. Now, before I leave, I'm going to share the quote for, for the day. And it says, great parenting is not the child's behavior. The sign of truly great parenting is the parent's behavior. Hmm. Gives you something to think about, huh? 
All right. Pre-K family, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Homeroom is over. I hope you learned something. And on behalf of Early Childhood Team, we would like to thank you for all you have done and are doing. We want you to know that we, we really, really do appreciate you. We do. And we are so excited that you are a part of our Pre-K family. We hope you enjoyed the information, and we want each of you to have a wonderful day. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at prektransition at scsk12.org. And we are very good about answering any questions or concerns that we receive. And sometimes if we can't handle them, we send them to the correct person. So if you do have questions or concerns or you want to know a little bit more about what I've said, shoot me an email. And we will, I promise you, one of the transition team members will get back with you. All right. So let me share my screen with you so I can show you what we are going to be giving out this week. All right. All right. So that being said, let me share my screen and let me share with you what I'm going to give out this week. So how about this? When I did the gross motor um, night uh, presentation, I gave away balls and jump ropes because we want our children to be active we want them to get moving so everyone that answers my trivia question i will send you this cute 901 ball and a jump rope so that your child can get moving i'll send it to your school um and we'll get them out this week we've been doing pretty good with our hard time room getting the gifts out to you guys so with that being said family this is it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, just please feel free to reach out to me. Have a wonderful and awesome day, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>